you all for being here today. I'm joined by Assistant District Attorney Anthony Bochi, who is the supervisor of the Homicide Unit, 88 Chesley Lightsey, Assistant Supervisor, and also 88 Ashley Tzlowski of the Homicide Unit. We are here to explain this office's decision to drop charges against Bayad Gillard for the tragic death of his twin brother, Suhail Gillard, <clears throat> who was shot and killed in their father's Overbrook apartment on Sunday, December the 1st. Obviously, any death of a young person is tragic. What also makes this loss tragic is that these twin 18-year-old brothers were, by most accounts, very close to each other. They were both good students, football players at Mastery Charter, who had very bright futures ahead of them. One brother is gone, and the other is traumatized and is bereaved, possibly for the rest of his life, and all because of a firearm. Our investigation in cooperation with the Philadelphia police initially found that Fayad did indeed pull the trigger and fire the shot that killed his brother. But upon further and careful investigation, we have concluded that while Fayad did pull the trigger, he did not do so with criminal intent. This was a horrific accident for which the whole family will suffer, but for which he should not be held criminally liable under these circumstances. Aleem Gillard, the father of the two boys and one daughter, should not have been in possession of firearms as a convicted felon, more specifically, the firearm that accidentally caused this death. He should not have encouraged his three children, the twins and their 16-year-old sister, to play with the firearm. And after the accidental shooting resulting in the death of one of his twins, he should not have instructed his two surviving traumatized children to lie so that he could keep himself out of prison. We believe Aleem Gillard is responsible for the death of his child, Sahail, and he will be treated accordingly. Investigation on that point is ongoing. Now, at this point, if there are any questions in regard to this particular investigation, I would invite them. We have those most familiar with the case here.